Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as the title suggests, is a random clothing haul. So because I've been super bored in isolation, I have been online shopping because... Why not? I actually am still waiting on two other parcels, but they're taking forever because they're from the UK. It must just be super delayed because of coronavirus, but I do have three separate, actually four separate brands that I ordered from, so I will show you guys those ones anyways. I might even film a separate video for the other ones, depending on how many items. I don't think there was many, but I'll show you guys regardless on Instagram or whatever. So the three brands, actually four brands that I have today are Pretty Little Thing, Meshki, Beginning Boutique, and um, One Shirt from Jagger and Stone. First, I thought I would do Beginning Boutique and I'll just try on all the pieces, tell you guys the size and how I like it. Um, yeah, just what I usually do in my clothing hauls, obviously. So if you want to see what I picked up, most of them are like winter sort of loungy, comfy clothes, as well as some sort of going out clothes for when this whole thing is over. So I did pick up some things that I can wear, like more dressier, like for events and stuff like that, I guess. So yeah, it's just like a mixture of cute winter clothes as well as like going out clothes as well. So if you'd like to see what I picked up, then just keep on watching. Okay, disclaimer, I know I did my tan all fucked up. <laughs> like, look at my fingers. How did I forget to tan my hands? And also, like, here's all gone wrong. Anyways, just sort of avoid that, even though it's, like, something that you can't unsee now. I probably shouldn't have even mentioned it. Okay, so first package I'm going to show you guys is from Beginning Boutique. I'm wearing two pieces right now, so I thought I would show you guys what I'm wearing. So I had to pick up this because butterflies, and it's just so cute. It is a little bit see-through, like you can kind of see, but it's not like too see-through that it's embarrassing to walk out the house with it. I personally would be comfortable to walk around without a bra, but you could obviously just use like silicone nipple covers. I've mentioned this in my videos before. I personally get mine from Boohoo because they're super cheap, but you can order them also from bras and things, or I'm sure like any sort of bra or lingerie type shop, or even maybe Kmart have them. But yeah, if you're not comfortable with that, you can obviously wear a strapless bra, or you could wear nipple covers, but I just love this top. It's super comfortable, cash, um, and I got it in a size 8. This is what the back looks like. Just love it. I love the ribbed material. It's quite thin and breathable. And I just love the orange butterfly. So I had to get that. And then the jeans that I got are from Gracie's collection with Beginning Boutique. I had to pick them up. Um, so I did get a size 10 and I was a little bit nervous because I have previously gotten clothes from Beginning Boutique and I have found that their jeans do run a little bit smaller than the size. So I'm usually a size 10 in jeans. I do prefer a comfortable baggier fit as opposed to like really tight. Like I just hate like my fat hanging out all over the place. I just hate that in jeans or even pants. So I was a little bit skeptical to get the 10, but... I am kind of glad I got the 10. I think if I did get a 12, it would be too big. I'll put the camera down so you can see. Don't mind the mess on the floor. But these are the jeans, size 10. So they actually do fit my waist quite well for like a mum style jean. They are quite firm around my belly and I don't mind that because I do know that denim does stretch throughout the day. So I'm kind of glad that I didn't end up getting the 12, which I was very close to. So yeah, it has the ripped vibe on the legs and then I love the slit here. It's not too like full on and too obvious that it's like hoary. I didn't know what other word to like explain, but I just like the slit just like that. It's just very subtle and just really cute. So yeah, these are the jeans. I actually really do like them. I do think I need to wear them though, like wear them in so they do become a little bit more relaxed because I do prefer that in jeans. But otherwise, she did a great job with these. I really, really like them. If you do have bigger legs, they do fit really well, like around the legs as well. It's actually super hard to find jeans that do fit my waist and my legs because my waist is, I would say like the smaller part of my body and then down here is like where the bigger part of my body is and where most of my fat just chill. But yeah, I do really like these jeans and the size 10 fits me really well. I would not 
yeah, go up a size or go down a size. I really love them. Another top that I got from Beginning Boutique is this one. It's actually um, in Gracie's collection as well. Not gonna lie, I think I should have ordered a medium, even though in most tops or like flowy tops, I am a small, but I am gonna try it on. I just feel like this isn't gonna cover much of my boob, but I'll try it on and show you guys anyways. I think it will fit. I might just tie this off camera, just in case I pop a tip. It fits me around my body, but just not so much the boobs, unless I use some sort of tape. I just love the concept of it, and I love these sort of tie-up tops, but for me and my bust, I would not feel comfortable wearing this out. Although, if I did put booby tape, like on the inside to stick onto my boob, then 100% I would wear it out. But as it is, I probably wouldn't. I guess you could also wear this off the shoulder as well. I actually like that a lot better. But if I didn't have any sort of tape on, I feel like if I bent down, my boobs would just fall out. For reference, I am like, I'd say a big D, not so much a double D. I wouldn't say, yeah, I'm like in between a D and a double D. But yeah, I do actually really love this top. It is really cute. Like I said, I just wouldn't wear it without some sort of booby tape just to give me some support and just reassurance that my boobs won't fall out but otherwise it is a really cute top and I love it okay I also picked up another one of these kinds of tops because I love them I love like floral patterns in these sort of crops so I'll try this one on I have a feeling this one will be okay but you just never know um, so I'll try it on and show you guys this one is a lot tighter on the sleeves whereas the Gracie crop was way looser definitely should have got a medium in this might return it for a medium because this is actually so freaking cute. Yeah, it's definitely too small, I reckon. It is too small around here as well. Like, it is cutting in quite a bit. So I definitely think the medium would fit me a lot better. Um, I just think it's showing a little bit too much boob. I don't know. What do you guys think? I feel like some girls could pull off this size. But just for me, I probably wouldn't feel comfortable in this size, but definitely we'll exchange this for a medium and see how that goes. But I just love these style of crops. They're just really, really cute, summery, light, and they literally would go with anything. Oh my God, I think this is my favorite piece so far. So I don't know what it's gotten into me, but I'm obsessed with baby blue. Like anything baby blue, I love. So I had to pick up this sweater. I think it's in a size small to medium I've already stupidly taken the tags off but I'll look through my emails and put all the sizes and everything down in the description box down below unfortunately I don't have any sort of discount codes for this video but I'm sure if you do just google like beginning boutique discount codes or pretty little thing discount codes someone has probably used one that has worked and they always post it in like those forums or whatever so I'm sure you'd be able to find a discount code or just go onto their Instagram directly they might be having a sale or something running, but I don't have a code for this video. Again, I think it's in a small to medium, but I am just obsessed with baby blue. I probably wouldn't wear them with these jeans because I feel like they clash a bit, but I did get some really cute trackies that I think would look really cute together. So I'll try them on in a sec, but this is the third thing I got. Oh my God, I love this. Okay, so this top is from Beginning Boutique and then I'm going on to showing you guys my meshy pieces. Holy crap, I love this crop. I don't really have any tank high neck crops that are a bit longer and I do like that um, for if you do wanna have that like tucked in bodysuit look or even just with like low, I know it's not really my vibe but I feel like the low waisted um, trackies are coming back in so this top would look really cute with like a low-waisted pant if you're up for that but I just decided to pair this top with these trackies which I'll show you guys and zoom you guys down but this is the top I really really like it I love the color and I love that it's thick and ribbed so it's not see-through I got this one in a size 8 and it fits me really nicely yeah, I really like this top it's like a really good quality just basic crop these are so Comfy. I got a size medium in these just because when it comes to 
being comfortable. I don't like like anything sort of digging in or being restrictive. So I really like it. And I do like how it is quite fitted on the legs as well. So you could wear this sort of track pant out, like not just lounging around the house. Like you could dress it up even. So I like this drawstring here. So you can, if you wish, make this tight like that. But yeah, the quality of these are just unreal. I really, really like this color as well. I don't actually have a new pair of joggers. So that's why I picked them up. Okay, next up I got was kind of to match the trackies, but it's kind of a different color. I still like it though. And I don't actually really own many or even any bandeaus like this. It's really, really comfortable. I did get a size small. I was a little bit scared that it was going to be a small size small, but it is very giving. Um, I would say I'm more like in between a small and a medium in regards to tops, but I always just go the small because I find the medium's just always too big. The small does fit my bust really well without cutting in. Also, what I was gonna say is I actually do like wearing my trackies rolled down once. I do love this combo together. It's really cute, really comfy. But yeah, I like the little detailing here. The little M embroidered. And I got another crop in this gorgeous like sage color. It reminds me of the Kukai type material, you know, like that, it's kind of like a wetsuit material, but I got this one again in a size small and I feel like this would fit really nice. So I might chuck on another pair of my trackies and pair it with this to see what it looks like. Oh my God, I love this color combo. So this is the top on, size small. I think it's in their basics range. I love the plunge. I just love this top. It's so comfortable and it's like that seamless material. So it doesn't dig in. And then these are the exact same joggers. So I'm just gonna do the same little trick and roll them down once and then hide the strings. I didn't think these colors would actually look cute together, but they do. They're like the same sort of tone. But yeah, these are literally the same joggers as the first beige ones. Wow, I really, really love this together. Okay, I'm pretty sure I have one or two more tops from Meshki. I got one top to kind of match these as well a long sleeve one and then i think oh no and then i got this one too which is like a bodysuit with like the corset type look so i might try these on with my other cream joggers because that would look really cute together but i'll try these two on together i think next okay <laughs> of course i've got makeup on the top oh i love this I did end up getting this top in a medium just because I have gotten tops like this in the past and they were just a little bit like too tight. I hate being restricted in clothes so I always tend to go for a size up rather than sometimes my size or even smaller. Like I'll always just do that because comfort is over anything. Like I would rather be comfy than cute, honestly. Um, but I'm glad I got a medium in this because it just sits on my body really, really nicely and doesn't dig in or it's not super tight. Sometimes I just like to, you know, feel a little bit more relaxed rather than like <laughs> in. This is really, really cute. And again, it has like the Meshki logo here. Not sure if you can really see that, but you could wear this sort of top with absolutely anything. These joggers look really cute with it jeans, a skirt, anything. But it is a really, really nice fabric. I love the high neck and I like that it's not see-through as well. Well, this is cute. Oh, this is so cute. I love this. So I've undone my trackies and just tied them up like they should be worn um, and then put on this top. I absolutely love it. It's like a ribbed material and it is still stretchy. I did get a smaller than this, but it does give you like quite a bit of support actually. Like it does lift my boobs up a little bit. I really, really like it. I forgot that I also got this top from Beginning Boutique. It's really, really cute. It's like a ribbed t-shirt with buttons. So there's four buttons down the center. I personally like wearing it like this. I don't have any pants on, but I'll put these on so I can show you guys what they look like. Okay, next is Pretty Little Thing. I've seen these type of joggers literally everywhere. Like the sort of no top joggers, they kind of just sit on you like this. I'm pretty sure these ones were on sale for like $20. I got them in a size 10. I don't know if I wish I went up a size just because I like my trackies to be loose. Like they are quite fitted around here. So completely up to you, but it's not like tight along my waist, which I like. They are still really, really comfortable and they do gather down here. So 
if you like that look. I wouldn't say they're like my favorite pair of trackies. They definitely are really comfortable. Ooh, I like this. So Pretty Little Thing are pretty much known for their basics. Like this was super cheap, like $5. So when I feel like I'm running out, or not running out, but I just want some more cute crops but don't really want to spend so much on them, I always jump on Pretty Little Thing or Boohoo. So yeah, I got this top. It's in the shade Mocha, I think, and it's a size 8. One thing I do love about Pretty Little Thing and Boohoo, I think they are actually owned by the same company or something like that. Um, they are really giving with sizing. This one is a little bit see-through, like you can see my nipples, but nothing like too full on. Um, like I said, you could just wear a bra underneath or nipple covers, but I do love the color of this top. It's really, really nice. And yeah, just really comfy. Like I feel like I'm not even wearing anything. So that's the top. And then I got this top, which I'm really actually curious to put on. So it's like kind of like a renaissance type theme. So I did post a little unboxing of my Pretty Little Thing order and I tried to explain what the pattern reminded me of and it was Sistine Chapel, I think. In Europe somewhere. Anyway, so this print does remind me of, of the Sistine Chapel roofs and like just cheruby type vibes, which if you guys don't already know, I'm obsessed with like angels and cherubs and clouds and all of that, like anything that comes in angel print or this sort of print, I'm sold. So I'm gonna try it on and show you guys what it looks like. I got a size 10 in this just because I wasn't really sure on how firm it was and it is quite firm, so hopefully it fits. What's happened? Stop. I'm dead. This is so cute and it's definitely the right size. I'm so glad I went a 10. I love this so much. Wow. And I'm pretty sure it was like $20 or something. It was so freaking cheap. But yeah, I am honestly obsessed with this. I'm pretty sure it came in a skirt and maybe even possibly a dress. Okay, I'm going to chuck on the other joggers now. I got, I don't think they're the same style. Holy shit, I'm like sweating in these because they're fleecy on the inside. So these next joggers aren't the same design. I think they were a bit more expensive, probably like $30, I don't know, but I got a size 10 in these as well. I got a light blue pair. The difference between these two is the top actually have like a proper trackies top and the drawstrings are on the inside of these as well. I feel like these trackies will look really cute with this top, not gonna lie. Okay, let's chuck you down. Okay, so these are the light blue trackies, absolutely freaking love them. Oh, I would wear them like this, probs. Look at these trackies, they are so cute. Obviously you could wear them like this the normal way and then do them up if you want them tight. I personally hate my trackies tight. Oh, I love these, you need these in your life. They have so many different colors as well, not just blue. I think they've got like a baby pink, a white, a nude. They've got all colors. I'm so glad that I got these trackies, they're so comfy. Okay, I think I have one last top. From oh no, I've got a couple more things. Never mind. So I did get this top. I will put it on, but I will obviously cover my boobs because it is see-through. But I thought this would look really cool with a black bralette. Okay, it's actually not as see-through as I thought it would be. Obviously, I'm not going to show my boobs because you can still see my nipples, but it kind of doesn't look as see-through as I thought. So. You could probably even get away with wearing nipple covers with this, honestly. It is so, so cool. It does remind me of the IMG. -er. I think they like brought out a top like this or something similar. Um, but it does remind me of like IMG -er vibes. But it is so, so cute and comfy. I did get a size 8 in it. Um, but yeah. So this is the next jumper that I got. Oh my god, it's actually really cute. It looks really cute on the model, so that's why I picked it up. I reckon with a pair of jeans, this would look really nice with like a chunky necklace. But yeah, I got this one in a size... Hold up, I think it's eight. Let's have a look. Yeah, small. I forgot to show you guys this top. Obviously, not with the blue trackies, but this one was from Meshki. I absolutely love it. It's kind of like a bandage material here. So it really does like, I don't know, it just gives you some shape here at the waist. And I love this detail, but it's just a nude 
thick it's not like really thick but it's kind of like that swimsuity type material i did get this one in a medium because i didn't want it to be super tight and i do like the size of this one the last item i got from pretty little thing is this jumper i just love crew neck jumpers i'm actually not wearing anything on underneath but i was going to put on these stacks bike pants so you can see what the look looks like so this is like a really deep chocolate brown whereas this color is the stacks umber shade in the seamless so you can see the color difference it does definitely throw off more ready maroney tones in the natural light as opposed to like a mocha i feel like some people are thinking that this is going to be this color but it's actually this color but i will show you guys the seamless has launched so i would highly recommend you go onto the stacks website because these bike pants tights and their crops are unreal like honestly one of the best tights i've ever put on so for comparison these are the umber tights from stacks and then this is the mocha color or chocolate color jumper from pretty little thing it is quite oversized so i did get a size small I was contemplating getting a bigger size, but the model, like it looked oversized in the model and I do like this size on me. I probably would have gone a medium if I knew that the size was going to be like this, but I still like it. But how cool does oversized jumpers look with bike pants? I just love this kind of vibe at the moment. Actually, I'm going to go and get the bone colored bike pants and show you guys what it would look like because I feel like it would look way better as a color combo. So I went and got the bone color, which I think would match the jumper. So as I said, these are the Stax Premium Seamless bike pants. They are probably the best feeling bike pants I've ever put on. They are so luxe and they have launched. So I'll leave a discount code in the link down below if you guys want to check them out. Then I got one last oversized tee because it wouldn't be a haul without oversized tee from Jagger and Stone. So I'll put that one on as well. Oh my God. I have been eyeing off this t-shirt oversized tee since it launched. I am just obsessed with it. I love Jagger and Stone. I just love their vibe. I love their aesthetic. I love pretty much all the collections that they come out with. Um, so I had to get this because oversized tees are up my alley and I have about a hundred of them. But they are just so comfy to lounge around in in the house. So I did get a size 16 because obviously the more oversized the better. Um, and it just literally sits on me like a t-shirt dress. Like I would literally just wear this on its own. Okay, so I thought I would pull the camera up so you guys can see my face while I'm talking. But I have seen so many different ways on TikTok actually how you can style oversized tee. So I did see a girl pair like an oversized tee with some high boots and a jacket. I think that looked really, really cute. Um, another way was to wear a turtleneck underneath it. I'll insert a photo here of what I mean, but I've just been like loving the fashion related TikToks recently. I'm not sure if they're like popping up on everyone's feed, but I, I don't know. I follow a lot of the girls that do fashion related videos and I get so much style inspo from TikTok. So yeah, if you guys haven't got TikTok yet, definitely download it for that. Like there's obviously heaps of funny shit on there as well, but I just love the fashion side. Um, and like all the fashion bloggers that are on TikTok sharing their style tips. So that's a little tip that I get some of my styling inspo from. But that is everything that I picked up. Like I said at the start of the video, I am waiting on I think two parcels from memory. But who knows, a third one might rock up. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you'd like me to film more because I'm definitely more than happy to. And if you do have any website suggestions where I should shop, then also let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.